lightest test is any type of test that will cover any of the other tests that we've already mentioned. So they use basically for revision purposes. The types of tests that we may be wanting to practice for certainly will include the longer progress tests like half year exams and end of year exams, but also things like external examinations that we'll look at later. As they are practice tests, what we should ensure with each of these is that the practice test follows as near as possible the actual test that it's being used to practice for. There's very little point in having a practice test that is only 10 questions long and lasts half an hour if that's being used to practice for an exam that actually contains 50 questions and lasts three hours. So try to make your practice test as near to the silent content of the actual thing you're practicing for. Our next category is what are often called external proficiency tests. Within these types of tests, there are three general categories, and we can label those categories as general English tests, the next business tests, or business English, and the final category, academic. And within these three categories, there are various subcategories of tests, so we'll have a look at each of these in turn now.